there's much ineffective and unsustainable investment with high risk of waste. Firstly, long-term port development strategies didn't provide a coherent basis for planning the capacity needed. Secondly, funding in similar port infrastructure and superstructure in neighboring ports has led to ineffective investment. This may have the effect of wasting up to 400 million euros. In addition, the coordination between the EIB and the Commission hasn't been functioning properly and the Commission failed to establish a level playing field for all means of transport. All in all, EU maritime transport is in troubled waters. Maritime transport is economically very important since there are more than 1,200 commercial seaports within the EU. The European shipping industry supports employment for more than 2 million people and it matters financially. Between the years 2000 and 2013 the EU provided almost 7 billion euros for port investment in addition to EIB investment of around 10 billion euros. In particular, we recommend, firstly, a comprehensive EU port development plan. Secondly, prioritizing hinterland connections to core ports and funding port infrastructure only when there is a clear EU added value as well as sufficient private investment. And finally, moving towards a level playing field and an improved competitive position for maritime transport by issuing of state aid guidelines for seaports, more harmonized customs controls and national one-stop shops for issuing permits and authorizations.